So listen, our next guest right now, I'm going to bring him up. He's usually a headliner, but he has another appointment that he has to go to another meeting in Manhattan. So uh, without any further ado, the infamous uh, Vinny Vella. Let's give it up. Hey. <laughs> Vinny. Hello, right. How are you, buddy? Hi, Hello, Hello, buddy. How are you? Jesus. Forget about it. Uh, How are you? Forget about what, the show or what you're going <laughs> to I guess whatever we're going to oh, ask you. Right. Now listen, I know you live in Manhattan now. Are you Correct. a native New Yorker? All the way, 100%. So where, you, where did you grow up? I grew up on Bleecker Street. Okay. And uh, that's on the west side, not on the east side. And what do you do? You bounce around like that? I bounce around. It's because <laughs> if somebody knows where I'm stationed, they might rob me. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I hear you. I hear you. I mean, so at, at what age did you actually start acting? When I first got married. Not my job. Uh, God, it must have been, it must have been like when I was a kid, because I always used to get in trouble. And I always used to lie my way out of it so good. I was such a believer. Uh -huh. That's when I realized I was an actor. And I said, what am I doing over here? So I started acting. So, I mean, when you grew up in the city, I mean, what was, it, was, what was, what was the changes from, like, actually back then till, till now, you know? What was the what? The changes of... Uh, uh -huh. The changes, well... Those days, life was a lot easier. There was no computers. You know, all this stuff started when the Beatles came here, and I liked the Beatles, <laughs> you know what I mean? But when the Beatles came, and then, uh, then they used to call them beatniks, then I went to hippies, and this, that, computers, cell phones, and pages, everything got screwed up. Yeah, forget about it. You know? So uh, back then, everything was nice. It was simple, life was beautiful. Now everybody's robbing, from the panhandle all the way to the White House. It's the truth. You got the governors, he gets in trouble, he puts people away for prostitution and he gets caught with hookers. You got the other one in the White House in the, in the, in the room over there, we can't talk. Just forget about it. You know, you got, you got all these people doing things, you know what I mean? My son, I'm gonna tell him, become a politician. You know what I mean? It's called license to steal. Oh, you course. get away with it. Forget you know, about like it. they have the numbers in New York, they have like the three numbers, like, uh, the pick three, pick four, pick five. And, uh, you know, they were allowed to do it. But when the bookies were doing it, it was no good. No, forget but it. now they're doing it. License to steal. Then they got all these, lot they have so many lottery tickets, they can't find enough ways to get your money. Mm -hmm. Now they got a new one, um, <laughs> Sweet Million. Yeah, they should name it Sweet This. <laughs> I didn't curse, I said Sweet This. Yeah, what a guy, I'm sorry. So now listen, I, I know you're working on a new movie. It's called The Irishman. And I just finished that. Oh, it's done? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ashley is starring with Christopher Walken and Val Kilmar. So why don't you talk about that? Ray Stevenson, Paul Savino, Robert Davi, Vince D'Onofrio, Michael Starr. Nice. And it's filmed in uh, Detroit. I had six weeks on it. And um, uh, it's about a guy named Danny Green, Ray Stevenson. He plays the lead. He was on a television show called Rome. Mm -hmm. He was the lead guy. And he's the lead in this. And um, it's about the Irish trying to muscle in on a mob in Cleveland back in 1976. Right. So it's a period piece. Okay. So I don't play a very nice guy. So all you people out there that have met me, when you see the movie, don't believe what you see on that screen. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, listen, all the actors that you've worked with, who would you say was the most enjoyable? The most enjoyable? Well, well, hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, Christopher Walken was fabulous. Val Kilmer. Uh, not, bec not because of this last movie, Michael Starr, Vince D'Onofrio, I'm from Law & Order. Uh, I've worked with De Niro. I've worked with uh, uh, the best of directors, Sidney the Met, Scorsese, Jim Jarmusch, uh, Harold Ramis. It goes up and down. So you, you can't know? choose and one. And the, the, the ones that I don't like, it's a very <laughs> small handful. You know? It's unbelievable. I probably should have asked that, right? <laughs> now, listen, uh, besides all the other movies, you were in Casino, right? Correct. Name some of uh, You had a, a starring part in The Sopranos. Now, why don't you yeah. tell us a little bit about your background with the movies and the TV shows? Well, you know, I, I love doing TV. I, I love doing movies because we're able to improvise in movies mm -hmm. and um, th there's leeway in movies. With TV, you got to do everything to the, like, if they say three minutes, it's got to be three minutes, not less, not more. And there's not much to, you can't improvise. Uh -huh. You know, they, it's scripted and that's how they want it. Um, I just got an audition. You know, somebody called me up, I was telling uh, Dana tonight on the way here, they called me up to go on an audition tomorrow. I'm not gonna name the audition, it's HBO. And like, if I've done movies this big, 
I don't want to audition for something this big. So they had me go pick up the, the fax. And I go to pick it up, the guy says a dollar, because my fax machine broke. It was one page. Then when I looked at it, there were, how many words? Three. Three words. Three. Well, what are we in? I think bacon. Oh, I think <laughs> bacon. I think bacon. And if you can't say that, you don't got the I said, I just want to audition. I'm going to say, I think bacon. What are you crazy? You know what? I think a lot of other things. I don't think no bacon. I, I think she got old, but I don't think bacon. <laughs> I ain't going on that one. So, okay, what else? You got that. Now, listen, we got a roll in. Uh, which roll in you guys are going to be showing that you got? Oh, casino. Well, you know, I've done so many. I have I have a reel that I gave you, but you just can't. If, <laughs> you're going to show that reel. We're here for two hours. <laughs> so, I mean, we rather sh I'd rather show them something that, that they would recognize. Uh-huh. And I mean, I've done Casino, I've done uh, uh, Sopranos, analyze this, analyze that. Let's show them something that I think uh, they would recognize. So if you watch the screen, this is a Casino coming on. All right, let's roll it. And as if things weren't bad enough, in comes Piscano, the Kansas City underboss. You ran that little grocery store in Kansas City where they bought the suitcases? They're fighting over those suitcases again. You know what that means, right? You know what that means, right? That means I gotta take another trip out to Vegas and it's gonna cost me another couple of grand. He ran it with his brother-in-law, but mostly what he did was complain. Complain about his trips to Vegas to his brother-in-law and to his mother all the time. You gotta lay down the law, otherwise they're gonna make a fool out of you. And make a fool out of me. I write it all down in this book. Every fucking nickel goes down right hey, here. Receipts oh, here. I'm wow. sorry. Receipts here, bills here. Everything's here. Since when do you talk like that? I'm sorry. It's not Nance gives me here. trouble, and I'll tell him, screw around with those suitcases, and I'll take the eyes out of his freaking yeah. head. Again. I didn't crash this a freaking head. That's enough. I'm sorry. And what happens next? You can't believe it. I mean, who the hell would believe that the FBI had a wire in the place looking for some information about some old homicide, about some guy who was whacked out God knows when over God knows what? To prevent them with the suitcases that he could take what he wants. Fucking Nancy brings us back two suitcases from the Tangiers, and what about three or four? We got nobody in the room to watch. That's the law. You know we can't even go into the counter to watch our money? Could you believe this cowboy bullshit? And sure, he's got his people in there. But how do you know? They could all be in on it together, those miserable fucks. I'll find out, and if it's Green himself, I'll bury that bastard. I've never trusted him. Right now, the way I feel, I'll hit the two of them in the head with a all fucking right, shovel. Ma, I'm sorry, they're beating me up tonight. Ma, I'm sorry, I'm all upset. I know, you, know, you, know, you know what they're doing to me. I, know, I can't I take know this it. no more. Back and forth, back and forth. Take it easy. Dude. All right, all right. But I, get I, a heart attack. You know, like I'm, that. I'm too upset right now. So much it. fun because we, we kept that stuff for the last week of shooting, and we had fun with him and my mother. We kept it for the last day. And my mother, you know, she'd get a little sometimes two cameras going. She didn't know when we were shooting or not. But he kept, he was very good. You'll see, you'll see, he keeps incorporating her into the improvisation. Oh, so you know? it's in, with your mother, it's My mother was improv, improv, but he had speeches. So she would interrupt the speeches, and he had to then pick up where he was in his energy. Yeah, it was, which very was hard. a little difficult for yeah, me because Marty would say hard. to me, while you're, you're doing your dialogue, she's going to interrupt you. Yeah. And once she interrupts you, turn around and politely say something to her. Yeah, then Mom. remember where you left off and, jump and pick right up. There. And I said, oh, God, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a jam. I'm going <laughs> to I'm in a jam. Good luck, but I did it. It came out great. We did about 40 takes, but we got yeah. it. Yeah. 40 takes. Yeah. Oh. It, it, it was very, you know, it was hard. It was hard because cutting, in, cutting off the energy of it, you had to be careful. And then we covered ourselves fairly well, and Thelma and I cut it. We did like 20 cuts of that, that scene. We finally got it sure down. Did. That's good stuff. Casino, Goodfellas, all that stuff. I mean, I got addicted to all those, all those movies. Absolutely. But uh, I have a question. Being in the industry as long as you have, I'm sure you have some wild and crazy stories you could tell us. And I'm a big girl, so. Yeah. Some backstage stories. Can we get if you want to hit them all. I, <laughs> oh, I, I have a few. Yeah. Are you asking for one of them? Give it up. <laughs> oh, well, for an example, like when I was, uh, we were in Michigan, um, Detroit, filming um, The Irishman. Christopher Walker would call me up and say, come on, Vinny, come on, I'll meet you downstairs. In the rest there was a restaurant in a hotel called Roast, like Roast and Chicken. And he said, come on, we're going downstairs and eat. We went in the restaurant, in the restaurant, it would be all filled with people. And he, I said, come on, sit down. He said, no, no, let's go over there. We want to, always want to sit in the back, like away from everybody. I said, well, I'm going to sit over here. He goes, hey, you like all that shit, you know? <laughs> so I said, we keep sitting over here every night. They're going to bring us flowers. <laughs> you know? you know, we always by ourselves back then. I mean, I don't mind, you know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, that's like one little story. There's some, you know, I, I, you know, I'm, 
I'm an outgoing person. So when, and I'm a pretty, and I'm a very good judge of character. And when I, when I'm working with someone, if I see that they think that the, you know, their noses are up in the air, I stay away from them. I stay away from negative things. I have enough problems in my life. So, you know, if I see somebody's playing hardball, I stay away from them. I do my own thing. Right, you know? I agree. So I, uh, I have um, just very few people that I, I, I don't deal with, you know. And uh, I know people that haven't even done half of what I've done. And when it comes time for autographs, oh, I don't give autographs. You don't give autographs. Yeah, you haven't it. done nothing. Exactly. You don't give autographs. Somebody asks me for their autograph, especially if it's a girl. Uh, I send you pictures, uh, <laughs> whatever. I take your phone number, I'll write to you. Whatever. Vinny's very humble. Yeah. Well, so, uh, Vin why is he signaling us? <laughs> what do you want me off? He has to clap that kid. That's All right. <laughs> what was your most popular role out of everything that you did that you think the people and your fans will remember you most by? Well, right now, it's Casino. Okay. Even though it's 15 years old. It doesn't matter. But a lot of people, they stop me in the street and they say, hey, weren't you the rat in Casino? I wasn't a rat. It was a bugging event. And they recognized me from that. My, uh, I'd done 51 spots for ESPN. Uh -huh. Now, when the Irishman comes, and they recognize me from Casino, from Analyze This, Analyze That. Mm -hmm. But it's mainly Casino. Okay. Because of everything I pulled off in there. But now it's going to be the Irishman because what I do in, in this movie, uh, the scenes that I've had in Casino, uh -huh. it's about uh, three to five times bigger. All right, scenes. cool. Well, listen, Vinny, best of luck. Oh, listen, I know we so got to get you back to Manhattan. You come back anytime. You're a good man, Vinny Bell. Everybody, Let's give it up. <laughs> Fast, Vinny. Okay, one more time, Vinny. If anybody got to get in touch with you out there, is there a website they could get to? Yeah, uh, Vinny Vella, V I N N Y, V E L L A S R for senior, at AOL.com. And if you want my phone number, I'd give it the outside. All right, you got, you got to give me it too. <laughs> All right, guys, Vinny Vella again. What's more? <laughs>